I was one of those kids who saw no good reason to just grow up and get a car. I felt free and alive on my bike. Until the day came when my load was too much and the hill too steep. Right when I needed a little adventure and some hope. We need to reduce our emissions by at least 70% worldwide. My heart broke. But then... Welcome to the cargo bike movement. Over the next few years, these pioneers will become my community, my collaborators, my heroes. There's just something about being on a bike. But powering like my entire family along. I don't know what, to the grocery store. It's like nothing amazing is happening. I just got groceries with my bike. You know, we just went and got ice cream on our bicycle. The mundane became extraordinary, and I needed that in my life. You know? I make less than a poverty wage as a bike shop owner, but with my bike, I have a very high quality of life. In driving a car, how many people do you see sitting on the freeway going, yes, I'm on the freeway? You know, no. The bicycle transformed human society faster and more effectively than any other invention in human history. We're seeing the same kind of revolution again. A 19th century invention is solving 21st century problems. I'd meet the innovators determined to bring this idea to the mainstream, whatever it took. I never set out to do this to get rich. I set out to start a movement. This bike was trying to present a way to place your car and that that could somehow be a net positive, making your life harder, could somehow make your life better. Yeah! It's time to ditch the family car for a bike. My electric assist box bike gave me a new life, but the world of cargo cyclists gave me hope. The city is too much congested. The flow of traffic is very slow, but bicycles can pass through, making our transportation easier and faster. I like the advocacy power of a good cargo bike race. If we did it right, we could prompt some thought about including cargo bikes in emergency planning. A lot of the remote areas around Kathmandu have been really devastated. Supplies are stuck at the airport. There's a lot of really long lines at the gas stations. We've got four cargo bikes at the local supermarkets trying to get supplies together for a village. I think we just need to say, why can't I pick up my groceries by my bike? Why shouldn't I ride my bike to work? When we start asking those kind of questions, we start figuring things out, we start innovating. I joined forces with over 100 cargo cyclists to make this crowdsourced documentary because to me, a cargo bike is the ultimate proof that less is indeed more. A heavy load can feel light and sustainability could be a lot more fun than we think.